We have an update to modern theming, a new screen template, and it just got easier to open your MS app files. All this and more in this month's Power Apps Pulse. Welcome back to the Power Apps Pulse, where we highlight those quality of life improvements to your maker experience. And we're starting out with a big improvement to modern theming. If you've ever struggled with getting a theme that really matches your brand guidelines, then you're going to like this one. When you create a theme, you choose a primary color and it creates a color scheme based off of that. But it doesn't necessarily guarantee that the exact color you put in gets translated to your theme. It might be a subtle variation of that color. But if you enable the new lock primary color option, it locks that into the theme to make sure that you get that exact color throughout your theme. Next up, we have a new table informed screen template. This template lets you specify the data that you want to see in a table and surfaces it up in a responsive screen with the corresponding form and toolbar so that you can browse and manipulate the data. And because it's responsive, it works great on multiple device types. Are you tired of having to create a new blank app every time you need to open an MS app file? Well, I got good news for you. Those days are gone. Now we can open up MS app files directly from the Power Apps Maker Portal. Just go over to your apps tab Select Import App and choose From File. Select your MS App file and you're good to go. And finally, we've gained a new screen data source action. This happens to pair very nicely with the new Table and Form screen template. This is very helpful on screens where you might have multiple controls that need to reference the same data source. You can simply select a screen, choose the new data action, Select your data source and it will configure all of the elements on the screen with one click. Well, that's it for this month's Power Apps Pulse, but these aren't all the updates that we have. Be sure to check out the monthly blog to see all the Power Apps news.